nine. Well, Lily Williams ought to be really competitive in this 800 as well. The question is, just how much can Kristen Zarella, can Alexis Irwin, can Danielle Avery, the girls that can go 214, 215 on any given night, how much can they push Lily Williams? I think she's going to be able to win at will. The question is, does she have so much taken out of her that she's not able to come back and complete the triple in the 3200? And Lily Williams at the back of that pack as they come through the first 200 in 31 seconds. So right around 202 pace, very, very fast, very early on. Lily Williams yeah. laying off the back of that pack right now and moving up very slowly. Rachel Greer moving up as well. Rachel Greer is going to take the lead as they come in front of the grandstand for the first time. And Lily Williams not going to get let the likes of Rachel Greer get too far out in front. She's going to cover that move, move as well. She is now moved into the lead as Lily Williams. Actually, Taylor Tubbs, receiving did not start. I had mentioned she was in lane two. Lily Williams, though, heading in in the lead. So 65 seconds, you know, that's 210 pace. That's fairly solid. Nobody's going to be able to come back in a 65. Lily could possibly do it if she really wanted to. I think she could possibly make a charge of that 209.44 set down by Skylar Waller. But she's probably not going to do it at the expense of giving away 10 points possibly in the 3200 later on. So that's what a really, really strong, confident runner looks like. Lily Williams taking to the lead. Alexis Irwin now in the second out of Osceola. And that's Rachel Greer, I'm sorry, Rachel Greer out of Melbourne in fourth. So the race really is for second. But they're making up some room on Lily here as they come off the final turn. It's Lily Williams. She's going to be 20 points for Childs. She's going to be your 800-meter champion. When it's all said and done, the race is really for second. Can Alexis Irwin hold on to second place? And look at that, a cruising to a 2.12 for Lily Williams. A good time for Alexis Irwin getting the runner-up in section two and overall out of Osceola. We'll see if uh, any of the earlier times were able to get to the medal stand. A 2.12.45 for Lily Williams, second place. Jessica Brinson, uh, pardon me, uh, Alexis Irwin from Osceola at 2.14.28. 2.15.09 for Daniel Avery from Naples in fourth place. Rachel Greer at a Melbourne High, 2.16.38. So did we have... Any times from our first section make it into the medal stand as they're 